Tonight, Rochester City Council is voting to give downtown Rochester businesses and building owners financial assistance. If approved, it would offer each property in the area interest-free loans up to $200,000. KMG News 3's Brandon Coat is joining us live from the historic 3rd Street Southwest in Rochester after speaking with a few businesses. So, Brandon, I know that we have heard some mixed reviews on this. What are some of these business and property owners saying? Yeah, that's right, Cammie. I spoke with a few along 3rd Street here, and the gear and the business owner over there at the Arts and Guitar Shop tells me that he's been waiting for this this money from the city to kick in for about a year and a half. And then I also spoke with John Crussell over, over here at his antique shop, and he says this money is definitely not enough to ensure that it will keep, he will keep the historical aspects of his building intact. Now, take a look here. Here's a look of the map of where the horse historical district is located in downtown. All the property and business owners in the area can apply for a zero interest $200,000 loan for 10 years, but the money can only be used for cer certain improvements like preserving historical aspects of the building, creating housing, or making simple upgrades like paint jobs. John Russell's general merchandise says it's concerned the loan will not be enough to maintain his nearly 150-year-old building, especially as downtown Rochester is about to undergo major construction from Mayo Clinic's $5 billion expansion plan. We need a cooperative effort trying to ask ourselves, what do we want in downtown Rochester? Do we want to completely throw away our soul? Or do we want to have something remaining of charm? If City Council does approve this tonight, that means the city will be allocating about $10 million from its Economic Vitality Fund, which is the fund Rochester voters said yes to last election. Live in Rochester, Brandon Coat, KIMT News 3. Brandon, thank you. We look forward to the follow-up tonight at 10 o'clock. The city would also provide grants of up to $20,000. Businesses would only be allowed to use that money, though, for costs like design, engineering, and legal fees.